So here's the thing, Bitcoin right now is facing a lot of resistance. It's been facing this resistance for a while. And what tends to happen in markets that are this bearish is that the more we face resistance like this, the more that resistance keeps getting lower and lower and lower until eventually the market collapses and you're down to $20,000. That's what I think we might be looking at in this video right now. So I'm going to be breaking down for you exactly what this is, how I think we might end up falling and what the possibilities of rising back up are, but also what makes it difficult. Because the thing that you need to keep in mind right now, ladies and gents, is that in this market, even if we start to rally above things like this triangle that everyone in their nan is watching in this market right now, even if we get these bullish breakouts, there is so, so much that can hold Bitcoin back right now which has got me quite worried. So you guys already know I'm a long term bull. I think Bitcoin is going to rise back up above uh, 65. I think it's going to go to above $100,000 eventually. But for now, this is pretty bad, in my opinion. You know, really what I think we're seeing, what I think we have seen, and I've said this a lot, is just a series of continuation patterns, right, where the trend is moving downwards. This is pretty obvious. And then we'll kind of we'll reverse upwards a little bit. We'll form what's called a continuation pattern. We'll form a rising wedge, a bull flag, whatever you want to call it. But then eventually the downtrend has to continue. And then the next time we might form something similar, but, you know, it doesn't look exactly the same. Previously, we trended up. Now we're just trending sideways. This is still a continuation pattern, though, ladies and gents. And then we end up continuing downwards. And then, you know, other times we form symmetrical triangles and they might look something a little bit like this, which you can actually draw lines like this to represent. Bam, right there. And then we end up continuing to fall down. And usually these are just, you know, things that correct the downtrend, right? Because temporarily, uh, you know, temporary co corrections are to be expected where we kind of slowly trade upwards and then continue moving down. This is something that's quite standard inside of these kind of market patterns. And I think that what we are in right now is probably just a larger time frame version of that. You know, now previously we were in a descending triangle where I was showing you how actually uh, this line curved all the way down here uh, and we were kind of trading in a downtrend and we absolutely were in that. However, we have recently broke it and it looks more like we're in a symmetrical triangle now which is better it's better than being in a descending triangle descending triangles are much more bearish but this is at best just a neutral sign in the market right and this is a thing you need to keep in mind my friends right here you know i know you don't want to i know you want to make a lot of money you want bitcoin to go back up because perhaps that's where your break-even point is or it's just what you're accustomed to thinking of your net worth as looking like but when you have a neutral sign inside of a bearish market, that's going to tell me something about where this market might go, right? When I've got something neutral in a bad place, well, it's not really helping the trend, is it? It's not hurting it either, but it's not helping it. And if the trend is already very hurt, then, you know, what am I going to be thinking, right? So this already inherently is a bearish pattern, in my opinion, going off that, right? So let's break down where this might go. And then I'm going to talk about exactly what this is right now. I'm going to get to that in just a minute. For now, I want to outline where some of these support levels are. And if you watched our previous videos, you would have seen me outlining this in the most recent live stream, ladies and gents, I showed you exactly how I came to these support levels because this YouTube channel is not just about me presenting my TA to you. I'm also showing you how I get to this technical analysis. I'm showing you how I formulate this technical analysis. And if you're a fan of things like that, then the VIP group has a lot more of that. This is where you're seeing every single thing behind the scenes of my analysis and and my trades. I'm telling you everything I'm considering trading, everything I commit to trading. You're getting the all the real time updates on how that's going for me. I'm telling you about the long term Bitcoin investments that I was selling off at fifty two thousand dollars, as you can see with this chart right here. I'm giving you updates on my Ethereum positions that, you know, on the drop hit a thirty five percent profit. So I'm giving you all that inside of the VIP group. You can pause the video right here and join VIP by following these steps on screen. But let's take it back to the chart. We do have some support right here at the thirty thousand dollar level. And we've already used it twice. So I'm not sure how useful it's going to be considering that we've already used it twice. We can certainly use it a third time and bounce up. But the more we keep on testing the, these levels, the more likely they are to eventually collapse. So that's important to keep in mind. That's just a, a classical technical theory. 
from there, we have a key reversal point in the market that ended up rallying us up to $40,000 down at $28,000. So this is actually the first area of support that I would expect Bitcoin to find. If we fail this, I would expect 26,000, 27,000. And if we fail that, we're looking at a pretty big drop down to 24,000. And the reason that I think the next support is down here is because in between these two green boxes, nothing happens in the market. Take a look at this. We just have a straight shot up from 24,000 all the way up to 26, 27,000, right? It's just a straight rally up. In fact, this rally ends at 28,000. So there's really nothing that stopped the market here going up. And usually that means there's nothing that's gonna stop it coming back down, which means that we're not gonna be able to find much support there. So that's why the next area of support below 26, 27, in my opinion, is at 24,000. It's actually precisely gaps like that, which are so beautiful and easy to trade. Uh, VIP has actually saw me trading a very similar gap to that right here. Uh, I didn't actually show the chart right here, but this is the example of the post that I shared inside of VIP, where I told members that I would be going short with five times leverage entering here and so on. This might look a little bit complicated, but we've got a lot of tutorials inside of the VIP group where I'm outlining for you exactly how I do this. And in fact, that's the very next message that I shared inside of VIP, um, where I was showing VIP members with a video exactly how I was demonstrate uh, exactly how I've been setting these orders. So there's no stones left unturned. You're going to get everything you need to know about how I'm doing, what I'm doing, and I think more importantly, why. Very, very comprehensive con uh, content inside of there if you're serious about the trading game and it's precisely trading games uh, trading gaps like that that you want to be able to trade in my opinion that's what i'm looking for that's what i traded right here that's how i hit this 20 percent profit recently inside of four flies vip with the trade that i just referenced and this would look pretty damn beautiful it remains my target for Bitcoin. Twenty-four to twenty thousand dollars is kind of the area that I'm expecting Bitcoin to eventually fall down to, if it stays in the trend like this. You know, that is where I think Bitcoin can really find some good support. I don't even think twenty-four k is going to be good support for Bitcoin, but it's close enough to twenty to where I think a lot of buyers are going to are going to try to step in at twenty. So other buyers will pre preemptively buy a little bit higher. And that could take us up to about 23, 24,000, right? So that's why I think 24 could be an area of support for Bitcoin. But that's all assuming we break down from here. So now let's take a look at why we might end up breaking down. This is actually something that could end up being quite scary. Definitely very, very fun to be a trader right now. If you're wondering where, where exactly to trade, Bybit is the place to be, in my opinion. This is the exchange I've been using for years. Check them out with the link in the description down below. You're going to be getting a trading bonus, meaning that whatever you deposit, you stand to get a little bit more completely free of charge, which you can trade with. You can, you know, you can gamble with if you chose to. You can even, you know, kind of press around with the buttons with that free cash that they give you so you're not risking your own money. And there's also a tutorial for Bybit down below. So I love using them. I'm in the, I'm in the US. I am using a VPN right now, but it's completely fine for me. So let's carry on with this video. And really, the thing is, you've already seen it towards the beginning of this video. There's still a lot of resistance on this chart right now that's applying pressure to this trend. And like I said at the beginning of the video, ladies and gents, the thing with these kind of markets is that when you're in a bearish market and you have resistance and you stay in a bearish market, these resistance levels, they keep on dropping, right? So previously, the bottom of our Ichimoku cloud was all the way up at $41,000 and it actually rejected Bitcoin up here. Then the bottom of our cloud fell down to 39500 That's where we got another rejection, right? Take a look at this clear as day. We hit the green line on the Ichimoku, we're down. We hit the green line, we're down. We hit the green line, we're down. And we can see that this resistance level has fallen from 41000 to 39500 to 37500 right? So in the space of only about, what is this, five days? In the space of about five days, this resistance zone has dropped by about $4,000, which is about 10%. That's showing us that this resistance has gotten much stronger over the past days. And we can tell that it's strong because this Ichimoku cloud itself on the four hour time frame is fat. PHAT. This is a fat Ichimoku cloud. It's absolutely beautiful. Very, very predictable. And what I think we're, I've been in Miami too much, fucking up. And what I think we're seeing right here is definitely a lot more mounting resistance that's going to keep on being problematic for Bitcoin, right? Because now this resistance is inside of our symmetrical triangle pennant, uh, inside of our symmetrical triangle itself. And I think that's definitely going to offer a little bit of resistance for Bitcoin, which could end up being the final thing that lets it collapse downwards. 
Of course, it doesn't need to reject Bitcoin. We can trade into this resistance cloud. And if you don't know anything about the Ichimoku, by the way, this is where you pause this video, open a new tab and type this into the YouTube search bar to watch my video on the Ichimoku cloud. If you haven't already watched this video, you are way behind. You need to watch it. It's a free video. I'm showing you how to get this indicator, how to use it, my best practices and so on. It's an old video. I was much younger when I made this video, but the content is great. So ignore how young I sound. Enjoy the content. The content is really, really good. And then come back to this video. But, you know, we could absolutely end up trading into this cloud, but that's actually where more problems come up. And this is why I'm so bearish right now, right? Because if Bitcoin started to do some spectacular things and it started to break above these kind of resistance zones, well, it's right now, it's got this diagonal blue line offering it some resistance. It's got this yellow line at 38,000 offering it some resistance. And we can see how these levels have been quite important in the market. We've just gotten rejected off this level just bloody yesterday or today, depending on your time zone. And as soon as we kind of climb into this cloud, well, now we've got more resistance from the Ichimoku cloud itself. We've also got EMA resistance a little bit uh, around here as well. Take a look at this. It's already rejected Bitcoin yesterday. By the way, if you're wondering why I made a video yesterday and it got deleted, it's because I, I made a video saying exactly the same stuff. I'm not changing that video. Every single thing I've said in this video is exactly the same. It's just that the previous video, my microphone was cut out, was cut out by accident. So I had to take the video down. But in any case, we've got Ichimoku, I'm sorry, EMA resistance right here. We switch it back to the Ichimoku. And the thing is, ladies and gents, we can rise higher in this resistance range, but we're going to have that big resistance at 42,000. And as long as Bitcoin cannot overcome 42, as long as Bitcoin is below 42,000, it's in a bearish trend, in my opinion. It's in a pretty bad, pretty dangerous place. And I think that certainly means that it could end up, uh, you know, struggling to break this kind of level and maybe trending downwards, right? So there's a little bit of resistance right here. And even if we break all of that, there is still more resistance from the Ichimoku cloud. And if you know how the Ichimoku cloud functions, then you're also going to know that the top line and the bottom line in the Ichimoku cloud are typically the strongest areas of resistance. So this red line is going to be quite a strong area of resistance, just like this green line has been as well. And these red and green lines are the most important parts of the Fibonacci of the Ichimoku, in my opinion. And we've already seen that just the green line alone is rejecting Bitcoin pretty fiercely, right? I mean, these are big drops. Take a look at this one. This one initiates a big 16 and a half percent drop my god that is a very very big drop the the price doesn't even get a chance to trade inside the cloud and it's already getting rejected right so this red line could definitely spell some trouble for bitcoin and even if we break all of that resistance on the daily chart we have more momentum resistance going against the trend and good fucking luck breaking this one breaking momentum resistance is not easy right this essentially shows us that there's just so much bearish momentum going for this trend right now and it makes sense right if we consider this logically if the price did manage to get up to 42,000, i certainly think and i'd even be one of these people that would consider uh you know a lot of people would actually consider selling their bitcoin because they think that this is a temporary relief rally which is you know a relief rally means that we're currently in a very bad trend everyone's upset we get a moment of relief a sigh of relief before it continues falling right so i would definitely expect this as a potential relief rally there's a lot of momentum resistance there and this is where i got a level with you guys right now and tell you how these bear markets typically do it because we are in a bear market we have dropped by 50 percent and you know when bitcoin drops by more than 40 percent what i've been saying to you guys for a long time is that if it drops by more than 40 percent it's serious right it's really bad it's not something that we can really recover from quite easily and momentum is showing that to us very clearly right now the thing about this, this is a visual representation of how difficult it's going to be to get back into a bull market. The thing about this is that people are very scarred right now. So if we drop by up to 40%, it's generally seen as, as typically quite manageable for Bitcoin. You know, people are going to regain their bullish energy quite easily. You start dropping below 50%, which we did, and it's going to start looking a lot more hopeless. It's going to start looking a lot scarier, especially for people who are newer in this market. So as soon as we start rising, we're going to get more sellers coming back in the market typically. We need that feeling of hopelessness to kind of fizzle out. And the real way that this fizzles out, and you'll see this with momentum, uh, with um, momentum indicators like the EMA ribbon, is we'll lose this spread. As soon as we lose this spread, which is what represents that this resistance is getting weaker, again, you would know this if you watched my EMA video. So please type this into the YouTube search bar and watch it. As soon as we lose this spread, it stops acting as strong resistance, in my opinion. And that's a visual representation that can kind of give you an idea in terms of time frames of when the psychology of this market will stop being so hopeless with the trend having a chance to recover and obviously that opens up a little bit more room for us to have some fear of missing out to have some very excited exuberant rallies and obviously that's what takes bitcoin significantly significantly higher most of the time so 
the key picture here is that here's the thing right this resistance is getting lower and lower. It's lining up with other indicators. Uh, it's, it's lining up with other bits of TA. You know, you've got my diagonal line right here, this blue line. You've got this yellow line offering us some resistance. We've got EMA resistance on the four hour. We've got uh, Ichimoku resistance on the four hour. And this resistance lines up with other resistance indicators, right? Other resistance signs like these pennants, right? So when you've got something like that, where so many different things line up at the same time, and even if you manage to get above it and break all of that resistance, you have more resistance, you know, it's going to take a, a black swan event, right? Like there's nothing technically speaking right here that makes me feel bullish with this chart. We certainly could rise up and, you know, that's why you exercise risk management. If you were going to trade this, you would still have a stop loss. You would still not trade with stupidly large amounts of money because you can be wrong and you never really know that you never anticipate being wrong in a trade but you protect yourself nevertheless that part is very important right you know i make a lot of trades some of them don't go well but you never really see my success rate inside of four flies vip dipping too low because i'm very quick to move my stop loss to break even i'm very quick to make sure that i cannot lose money on my position so of course while i do lose money on positions occasionally the number of positions that end up turning into losers are usually very low compared to my winners purely because a lot of my winners while they might not be good trades they're closed before they turn into losses so i've already secured some profits right so when you're inside of vip you'll notice that you know you'll see me making a trade which at the time looks great later on it starts looking a little bit bad but i'm not losing money on it right i'm still slowly compounding higher and higher and higher and then of course there are the home runs as well this is what a lot of people uh you know see when they join vip as well the 108 percent 74 percent profits this is where vip members are killing it during this crash because you can't make money on the way down you've already seen me doing that i did that with ethereum uh you know right here with this trade i did it with bitcoin again with this trade a 20 percent profit while the market was crashing this vip member pulling five times more than that pulling I don't know, like three and a half times more than that right here. Very, very impressive profits that these people are able to pull inside of the VIP group. And this person mentioning that he's not even trading as much as he used to, but still making absolute killings inside of this market. Bam. Uh, you know, and another, I'm sorry, this, this was not one, but we had another $80,000 profit that you guys saw recently. So if you want to jump into the VIP group and see how people have been able to pull off these kind of results, gain access to the same content they had, where previously they were not seeing these kind of results, but now inside of the VIP group, they are because there's a whole host of very, very useful benefits inside of the group. You can find out exactly what you have been missing out on by following these steps on the screen right here. Taking it back to the analysis, though, I certainly think that there's a lot of bearish momentum going for this right now. I think that this can collapse at any moment. Even if we do rise up, I think there's going to be so much more resistance. So unfortunately, I can't be optimistic about this trend. But again, none of that is worrying because I know how to make money on the way down. And crucially, I fully expect that eventually we are going to reach new all time highs. And if we reach our previous all time high and exceed it, well, Bitcoin typically doubles that. So if we double our previous all time high, that puts us sitting pretty at $130,000. And I still am very optimistic that Bitcoin is going to get there. So long term, I'm sitting happy. Short term, I'm sitting bloody fantastic. And that's my outlook on the market right there. Now, if you still are looking for a place to trade Bybit, it's the place to be linked in the description. You're going to be getting a bonus. They don't even require KY see so it's well worth checking out like i said i'm using a vpn out here in the states and if you want to take your trading to the next level see how our members have been able to profit so beautifully inside of this market just get the information on it so that you know what's up you can join later or whatever the steps to join are on screen we we have successfully brought on new staff members now it's going great things are smooth again that was very very cool uh we've never had a scaling issue with this business before because we've always had more resources than we need for the first time ever last week, that slipped out. And actually, we had too much demand. We had to consider closing VIP registrations. It's looking good for now. So if you want to get in, these are the steps on screen right here. Click on the first link in the description down below, then click on the app for flies button and then click on send message to ask me how to join VIP. And if for some reason, when you click on this first link, it takes you to a blank page, you will need to download the Telegram app on iOS or Android very light download that's where all the traders are anyway so if you're not on it you're handicapping yourself uh but you shouldn't need to download anything following these steps on screen anyway really hope you have enjoyed this video if you have make sure to hit up those likes subscribe if you're new here you don't want to miss out on this content it's very time sensitive very critical to be able to pay attention to this in this market right now and i will see you all in the next video thank you all for tuning in Bye bye